Hello, Lake Nicomas Lutheran, Pastor Sarah here. I um, am going to tell you a story of connection. I love connections. So three people from uh, Lake Nicomas went to Tanzania. You maybe know that Tanzania is a really special place in uh, my life and uh, a specific village where I have spent a lot of time particularly. So they came back. I was having coffee with Gloria and she was telling me about her trip and she kept talking about this place and um, this place church that they had worshiped on uh, the Sunday that they were there. And I said, come in my office, come in my office. This is the church you're talking about. This one. <laughs> this is my church. I spent so much time there um, in my first call. Um, I We had a village there. It's called uh, Uswa, and this is, the church is called Inkira Awanga. And I spent like a whole summer sabbatical there and many other trips uh, to visit these beloved people. Um, this little baby, Sarah, the baby, <laughs> her name's Sarah. She was named after me. Anyway, so these beautiful people of Lake Nokomis went to Tanzania and maybe randomly, maybe spirit-led, <laughs> worshipped at this church that has so much meaning in my life. Oh my goodness, I just love that. Anyway, I... Uh, that's one of the things I love about uh, our faith and uh, the spirit that uh, surrounds us is that we are so connected, uh, sometimes in ways we don't even know or expect, and sometimes in ways that we desperately need and are searching for. So this Sunday, uh, as we continue this uh, sermon series on Moses, uh, we're going to be looking at the story of the building of the tabernacle. Not that exciting, really, uh, at first glance. But the tabernacle is built. I'll just give you a little preview so that the people have a place to connect, a place to know that God is with them, a place to know that even in the wilderness, they are not alone. So I just imagine there's many, many more beautiful stories of connection, uh, places that we are connected whether we know it or not, and that God continues to work among us. So I hope you will join us in worship on Sunday, this place where we come to be connected to our God and to one another, and I look forward to seeing you.